Hello, my name is Colin Lockett. I'm a senior site consultant for Midland Building Products. I have been working in the building and joining industry since 1980 on multiple projects throughout the UK, progressing to contracts manager on a supply and fixed basis. This video is a brief introduction to the correct installation of fire rated door assemblies in accordance with these British standards. BS 8214 2016, BS 476 Parts 2022, and BSEN 1366 Stroke 4. If these standards are not adhered to, all certification is void. The standards and regulations which all manufacturers must comply with are outlined in these approved documents. Fire and Smoke is Document B, Sound is Document E, and Accessibility is Document M. Fire doors and door sets are part of a building's passive fire protection system and are an integral part of its structure. Alarm systems, sprinklers and fire extinguishers are part of a building's active fire protection system. The main role of a fire door set is to protect people and property and to help control the spread of fire and smoke from the remaining building. It enables people to evacuate the premises quickly and unarmed and also allows the fire services to carry out their duties safely. Fire door sets comprise of the following components, the door leaf, the door frame and the fire seals. Together these components enable the fire door assembly to achieve a rate of either FD30 or FD60. The door leaf will generally be either 44mm thick for an FD30 rated fire door set and 54mm thick for an FD60 rated fire door set. When a schedule indicates a rating of FD30S or FD60S this signifies a door set is rated for smoke protection. All door sets with an S will require smoke seals to comply with the manufacturer's test evidence. To ensure the correct door type is fitted, check the door schedule prior to installation. All door sets are either rebated or come supplied with loosely pinned stops. Never cut down the height of the frame as the undercut has been approved by the main contractor, although the floor finish specifications can alter during construction. All frame heights need to be agreed with the main contractor. The joining contractor will need to double check that the doors are set to the required height. The door frame or door lining is manufactured with grooves to allow for the intermittent fire seals. FD30 frames have one groove to allow for one 4x15mm fire seal. FD60 frames have two grooves to allow for two 4x15mm seals. The frame thickness is important to achieve the specified performance and must not be altered. Door pairs will consist of either equal double doors or a leaf and a half. They are dispatched separately but are numbered up as individual pairs. They must be installed in matching pairs with their corresponding door linings. All intermittent fire seals and plastic fire smoke seals should be installed after decoration takes place. Middle and building products bring together all major door set components to achieve a fire rated door assembly. All fire doors will have a certification label which is unique to that individual door leaf. The door leaf must not be tampered with after manufacture. All glazed apertures must be installed by the manufacturer in a controlled environment. The glass will have a BS kite mark etched into it. The information will be clearly marked stating the glass performance. These comply with BS476 for fire and BS2606 for the safety aspect. Cutouts for air transfer grills should only be done during production. However, the grills themselves can be fitted on site during installation. Fire door sets must only be installed by a qualified person in accordance with the manufacturer's test evidence and documentation.
The most important element of installing a frame is its height. This height determines the undercut between the door leaf and the finished floor surface. Generally, fire only door sets must have an 8 to 10 mm undercut. Depending on the door certification, fire and smoke rated door sets must have a 3 mm undercut. Undercuts are rigorously checked by fire door inspectors. Most issues arise when final floor finishes are installed and the undercuts are too excessive. This results in doors not complying with the fire and smoke test evidence and are non-compliant with regulations. Frames should be installed plumb and square. Use the door leaf to check correct fitting and tolerances. And use a guide to ensure a 3mm margin when the door is in its closed position. The frame should be set centrally within the structural opening to allow for an even application of fire protection. Frame packers are always required. If packers are not used, the frame can move and cause major problems. Do not rely on the foam to replace the packers. Unless test evidence states otherwise, all packers should be installed approximately 10mm from the frame edge to allow for the fire acoustic mastic. Frames must always be installed securely with screw fixings. Fixing locations must be 100mm from the top and bottom of each frame leg the remaining fixings at a maximum of 500mm centres. Five fixings per leg is recommended for the maximum frame stability. Frame widths that are wider than 140mm will require an additional parallel fixing. Double door frames will require additional fixings to the frame head. All screws should be adequate for the secure anchoring of the frame. The screws should penetrate at least 40mm into the wall structure. If setting the frame with a laser device, always use a straight edge to check for plumb and straightness. Door stops are supplied loosely pinned. The side carpenter will need to reset the stops to accommodate the Fast 35 smoke seal, allowing 3mm from the lining stop to the door face. For door sets with no smoke or acoustic requirements, the lining stops need to be set against the door face. Any voids or gaps between the frame and wall which exceed 20mm will require a solid timber or plasterboard infill with the same density as a door set frame. If using a temporary dummy door to set the frame and stops, be aware the door leaf will be different with regard to dimension, flatness or twisting. It may be necessary to trim the door edges to suit the pre-fitted frame. If so, ensure equal amounts are taken on both sides of the door. A maximum of 3mm per door edge is permitted. High reductions are taken from the bottom of the door. Leading edge clearances should be a 3 degree bevel from the hinge knuckle face of the door.
all fire mastics and fire films need to comply with BS 476 part 20, BS 476 part 22 and BSEN 1366 stroke 4. Fire door foam without fire mastics can be installed as long as all test evidence and technical data fully comply with the relevant BS DN standards. MBB Limited only endorse the fire door foam distributed by Fire and Acoustic Seals Limited as this product has been fully tested with our door assemblies. Architraves should only be installed once the spoke and acoustic fire mastic elements have been documented and signed off by the main contractor. If required, take photographic evidence for future reference. Acoustic door sets will require acoustic wadding or rock wall to be packed between the frame and wall structure. The rock wall requires an even coat of acoustic mastic. On higher DB rated door sets, a drop seal is integrated into the door leaf. These need to be adjusted once the floor finish is in place. When introduced onto site, door sets may take on moisture and cause installation issues. Upon delivery, our door sets will have between an 8 to 10% moisture content. Be aware that any reduction or resetting of the door configuration due to moisture ingress may result in excessive margins at a later stage when the building dries out. MVP cannot guarantee that door set materials will return to original manufactured dimensions. A change in margin will compromise the certification of any fire or smoke rated door sets. To prevent such issues, doors should be installed when the building is free from excessive moisture or major building works. Hinges and iron mulberry are all BS stamped to comply with BSEN 1935. The essential iron mulberry for a fire door set is the hinges, closer, locks and latches. Intumescent pads should be fitted when supplied with all essential iron mulberry. Ensure all iron mulberry is rehoused correctly and flush after any door alterations. All fire and acoustic seals must be replaced as good as new. Door closers must conform to BSEN 1154. They should be adjusted to allow the door to close from any open position, making sure that the door is securely closed. Once installation is complete, all door sets must be signed off and added over to the main contractor. Afterwards, each door set will be fully inspected for compliance. Always remember that door sets can be checked at six monthly intervals by an independent body. This emphasises the need to fit them correctly. Fire door sets are only as good as the person installing them, the responsible person who maintains them. For further information, please refer to the manufacturer's handbook. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.